welcome back to Rooster Time. My name is Sai, and today we are taking a look at an Accurist. Uh, this is an Accurist World Time Watch, digital and analog displays, World Time of Bezel, uh, multifunction stopwatch, chronograph, etc. etc. Now, I'm very excited to have one of these as Accurist was one of the first watches I ever bought for myself uh, all those years ago. It is a British brand founded in 1946. So plenty of heritage, plenty of uh, classic models in their lineup, and uh, really for the money, a very high quality piece. As I say in the title, uh, this is less than a hundred pounds, um, although it retails slightly more, but you can get it under a hundred for a world time multifunction watch, which I think is a steal. So without further ado, let's have a closer look at this one. Okay, so what are we actually getting here, guys? So we are getting a all stainless steel piece, um, 40 millimeters across in uh, iron plated uh, or iron coated sort of dark gray coloring. Uh, almost looks like a titanium coloring, but it's not. Uh, it is all stainless steel. It's just got this beautiful dark finish to it, which I think looks fantastic when you consider the, uh, the dark gray sunburst dial and then the black world time bezel there uh, the bracelet uh, is of decent quality for the price point so we have uh, mostly satin finish with a bit of polish on the uh, intermediates there this almost like it's a three link design but you do have almost like the five link look with the, the two polished ends um, they are solid links as you can see and they are pin sleeve so at least you're not getting the folded link bracelets of some of the watches in this price point i want to point out it does retail uh, over 300 pounds normally but of course you can pick these up for 100 pounds and even less uh, a basic steel stamped clasp as to be would expect uh, at this price point and it is a normal push fit clasp so you just push down there and then you have the a of accurist uh, on the clasp as well um, and there are a few divots drilled in to the clasp so you can anchor from four different points but other than that there's no other adjustment on there uh, and as i said though at least you are getting all solid links uh, the case is all of this uh, iron plated coloring uh, solid end links there um, you see you have pushers on both sides they control the functions think of this more of like a digital watch with an analog display rather than sort of a, a traditional watch that's why there's so many pushers on there the crown only sets the analog hands it, it doesn't do any of the other functions and you see the case back is uh, screwed in and we have accurist and japanese movement uh, water resistance of 50 meters so i would probably wear this out and about wherever and not worry about it but i wouldn't personally you know take it swimming if i could avoid it so let's talk about the main centerpiece which is the dial and of course the world time bezel now i just want to say that this is a fixed bezel it doesn't rotate round. you don't line anything up it's more for just reference cities of where you are so you can have a look um at your time and then so say i'm in uk time so london so it's quarter past four so i can then count up so i know for example it's seven eight quarter past eight in dubai uh, and things like that obviously daylight saving time may throw things out on some of the places but uh, all in all you're going to get a pretty easy reference so you can kind of read any of the 24 principal cities that make up the 24 principal time zones uh, at a glance. So on the actual digital displays there, which do have a function uh, to light up, as you can see there, you have the date at nine o'clock. Uh, so the day, the date at three o'clock, um, the month and the day. And you have a digital time display at six o'clock. So as I said, the module is all digital. The hands, quite literally, all they do, this, this dial here, all it does is move the analog hands. Uh, and it doesn't affect the uh, digital time at all. Um, so you do have to set them independently, uh, which means realistically you could you know, just use this and then set the home time, if you like, the, the analog time. 
almost like a GMT where you set that to a different time, uh, but that will be up to you. We have varying modes as you would expect with a digital watch. So you have uh, alarms and you can set alarms throughout the world clock here. So you see, I've just got those set up for different times. You have a stopwatch, you have a timer, and then you're back on there. You can also have two different time zones displayed. So for example, when you hit this button, this is our home screen and you hit that and then you have Paris time displayed there as well. So very functional watch, it's definitely a traveler's tool watch uh, to say the very least. Fantastic looking piece, uh, very subtle understated watch. Um, and again, we're all about budget here. We're all about uh, saving your money for you know under a hundred pounds to get a, a world timer from a brand that's been around for you know since the end of the war really 70 odd years I think it's fantastic so let's conclude my thoughts on this accurist okay guys so final thoughts then on the accurist world time watch a decent quality watch uh, for not a lot of money uh, you get the dual time functions you get all of the good looks of that iron plated coating. I think it's a very subtle, understated watch. Um, it does have 50 meters water resistance, so it's not too bad uh, if you are gonna take this on holiday or for the sports. And again, being a travel watch, you would expect to, to at least take it on holiday or wherever you are traveling. I think you could wear this with a suit or with casual clothes. And I think it looks fantastic. And uh, again, from a great British brand that I've enjoyed uh, since I've been able to read the time. So fantastic. Anyway, that's the end of this review, guys. Please feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon.